34, solve the equation 5 eighths m minus 3 eighths equals 1 half m plus 7 eighths. First thing I notice, we have all eighths except this 1 half. Let's quick convert that to eighths. So 1 half m is the same as 4 eighths m. Now since we have variables on both sides, we need to eliminate them from one side. And since 5 eighths is bigger than 4 eighths, I'm going to choose to get rid of them right here. So minus 4 eighths m on the right, but then I have to do it to the left to keep things equal. They cancel here. 5 eighths minus 4 eighths is just 1 eighth. And then we still have that minus 3 eighths equals over here we have 7 eighths. We're down to a two-step fencer now. To get rid of peeling off the layers from the m, the furthest layer is this minus 3 eighths. So I'm going to add 3 eighths to one side, but if I do it to one side, I have to do it to the other. After that step, these cancel. We have 1 eighth m equals 7 eighths plus 3 eighths. That would make 10 eighths. Now our last step, to get rid of this times an eighth, you could divide by an eighth, but dividing by a fraction is hard. So instead, you KFC it. You keep the first fraction, you flip the second, you change the symbol. Basically, instead of dividing by an eighth, multiply by the reciprocal. Because the eighth will cancel then, the one will cancel, leaving you with m. But if you multiply the left side of the equation by eight over one, you better do it to the right side as well. You can simplify quickly by going eight and eight, reduce to one and one. 10 times 1 is just 10, which could have got the long way. 10 times 8 is 80 in the numerator. 8 times 1 is 8 in the denominator. And 80 divided by 8 is 10.